So now let's get to the Google Cloud certification. How was your experience with the first one? Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to do the second? Okay. So the first one, it's called Google Cloud Digital Leader. Okay. And that is something I'm ashamed to say. I'd planned that I will learn everything in five, six weeks, and then I'll give the exam. I was too lazy. I procrastinated, and I learned everything in the weekend, gave the exam, and I passed it. So I was super glad. Otherwise, like in the last week, I was a bit nervous that I because just to challenge myself, I just booked the exam three months later, and for eleven weeks, I did not do anything. And in the twelfth week, I picked up the videos, picked up the course material, and then I went through it. And most likely, in the last three days, I started. So, question. So, how long did you study for in the last three days? I would say a lot, like uh, six hours, seven hours a day. Seven for hours the last three day. days. So, yeah, about twenty hours of preparation. So, if twenty hours of preparation is good for curing this, the this yeah, exam. Absolutely, right? I think okay. uh, we have already made a video on that. Let me bring that up. It's called becoming certified Google Cloud Digital Leader in twenty four hours. And I shared what I learned in that. I shared what resources I used. There are tons of free resources that we can, all can use. Start with my video; it will give you an overview of everything that this, you know, uh, entails. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience, especially because I was able to clear the exam. I was very happy. And a lot of people ask me that, why are you giving an exam? Like, why do you need to do that? Why can't mm -hmm. you just learn things and just be happy? And that's a fair question. If I was using Google Cloud. In my day-to-day -day job, I wouldn't have gotten the certificate because I'm getting hands-on experience anyways. Like I never got a certificate for Node.js, I never got a certificate for Java, for Python because I use these things on day-to-day -day life. Google Cloud is such a vast topic. Like the services it offers are maybe in the hundreds, if not close to a thousand. So there's no way that a person like me can go through everything and learn everything about it. And the goal is not to learn everything, but the goal is to get a structured learning path. And that's why I really prefer either watching a video, buying a course, or just getting a certificate because that gives us like a, you know, it forces us to spend time, especially when you have booked the certificate and it's, and it's a few hundred dollars and you don't want to waste your money. It gives you a deadline and it gives you enough to learn about something and it gives you like a path. So the first one I got was called Google Cloud Digital Leader. So what's the second one? What's the second one called? The second one is called Google Cloud Engineer. Okay. And this is much more technical. And for this one, I cannot take an easy way out. Like I cannot prepare for this in a week. This actually has hands on cloud practical things that I will need to learn. And the first one is for any level. Even non-technical people can do that. Like if you are in marketing, if you're in accounting, if you're a manager with no technical background or a developer, anyone can do that certificate. It's, it's a foundational certificate that really doesn't cover one single technical thing. So that's why, and the certificate is valid for three years, the first one. So anyone can get that. The second one is really, it, it's called cloud engineer. So it requires you to be an engineer right. most likely. And it goes into a lot of details. Right. I've just started it and already, it, they gave me access to Google Cloud Console, where I had multiple services and uh, multiple Google Cloud APIs that I could access. Some labs are for free, some are paid, mm -hmm. because I'll be using actual cloud resources and I have to pay for them. So it's going to be interesting. It's my week one of preparation. I'll be preparing for 12 weeks, and every time we do this podcast, I'll share what, the the, progress, what yeah, um, my progress yeah. and what new I learned this week. Right. So if I get it right, the mm -hmm. first one, anyone can do it, irrespective of which field you're in, right? Absolutely. And what your experience is. But the second one, you have to be an engineer. For the second one, you have to have a technical background okay, or a willingness to learn more technical stuff. Okay. If you really want to stay like a non-technical individual, mm -hmm. second certification, at least from my understanding as of now, it might change. And if it changes, I'll let you know. You don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. And do you need any experience for the second one to clear the exam? Any industry experience? No. So the good thing is okay. uh, in the course that they offer, it has actual hands-on experience where they would take you to labs. Mm -hmm. And in that lab, they would already have paid resources for you. Right. So let's say a company has to pay a couple thousand dollars to get access to Google Cloud service. Right. They will give you access to that for 10 hours. That's and you can great. and the, all the paid resources are here for you. Maybe for $5, you'll have to pay a little bit. Right. And then you can actually experiment it like you were working for a big tech company. 
and you had cloud access. That's great. So that part is pretty sure. cool. The first one is really, it gives you the idea of what cloud is. Why are we moving toward cloud? A lot of people, even in tech world, don't know what a cloud is, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so it's really good. It, it will give you a good fundamental of why the whole industry moved toward cloud. Yeah. What did we have before a cloud? Mm -hmm. What cloud services Google offers? What are uh, serverless functions and things like that? So it will give you the understanding. Great. And another question, since AWS cloud is so prevalent, Correct. why did you go for Google cloud certifications? Whew, that's a good one. That's a good one. I didn't know you were coming with that. So AWS, when I open LinkedIn, every other person is getting an AWS certificate. And that's one of the big reasons I didn't get it. Because I thought that if everyone is learning AWS, then why just learn that? Mm -hmm. I thought, let's do something different. And Google is my uh, has been a preferred technology because I've been using Angular a lot. I've been using Firebase a lot. Firebase is just a Google Cloud product. It's backend as a service. So I already had some uh, usage of Google Cloud in my life. So I thought, why not become more of an expert in this? That's why I picked this up. And just to challenge myself and just to expand my horizons, once I'm done with Google Cloud, I'll, I might do AWS and Azure just for the heck of it. Just to mm -hmm. challenge myself and just to share the experience with all of these guys uh, who come here to watch us sometime, I might do that. But Google Cloud is my just my personal preference. And do you know what? Even after Google Cloud Engineer, there are so many more core, uh, certificates you can do. So you, you can see here, you start with Cloud Digital Leader, yeah. right? And then you can become a Cloud Engineer. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. And after that, it is called a professional certification. Here, you become either an architect, database engineer, a data, engineer data engineer, cloud DevOps, cloud security, Google Workplace Administrator, machine learning engineer. So I, I think this yeah. one is going to be like very, very rough if I am talking about in, just in terms of how much time and effort will go into this. Right. And this is more spe specialization, right? Correct. So where, depending on what field you're already working in, you can choose like your specialization and get certified in yeah. it. So Google is anyways great in the amount of certifications they provide yeah. in for any field. Yeah. And just, just to be very clear, I think both of us share this opinion that certifications do not matter. Yeah. We are not getting these certifications to, you know, make our resume stronger or, you know, because we think that if we get this, we will be better engineers. That's not the case. At least uh, I can say this for me and for you. We are getting them because it gives us a path, a clean path to learn. Mm -hmm. And in the end, you can test yourself. Because if you're not using these technologies in day-to-day -day life in the job you work at, you don't get to test yourself and you can just claim that you are an algorithm expert or a data expert or a cloud expert. How are you an expert? You have not worked on that. Yeah, you might have read a book or watched a video, but... Yeah, it's like a credential that validates that you really, you know, know this concept. Absolutely. You really know the subject. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it is. And it doesn't hurt to have certifications when you're looking for a job as well. Right? It doesn't hurt so, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the person who's trying to hire you will either need to check your previous experience, but if you don't have the experience in that technology, then how will you prove that you know this? Exactly. Either that's the validation they exactly. need. That's the validation that you might be able to get, yeah. but we're just doing it for fun and just to learn yeah. more, right? It is for, for us, both of us, it's to learn more, be better because we, if I get a bit philosophical, we have one life and in that life, why not get the best version of ourselves? Right. And that's the reason uh, we keep on learning different things. Right. Yeah. And the clean path point is really bang on. It's so important for me because you can learn stuff on your own as well. Yeah. Right. You can do the same thing, like watching 10 different YouTube videos and doing courses on Udemy and other platforms. But then you're going to have to do a lot of research on your, like by yourself. Right. Absolutely. So. That needs a lot of motivation. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you don't have that, you could just find either a certification or whatever, and then that will provide you with the path and the steps. And you just need to just close your eyes and do it.